Ciao and welcome back. Today we're going to learn something very useful, especially when you go dining. And that is something that I'm sure you're going to do often if you go on vacation to Italy. So remember the greetings. If you don't remember greetings, check our previous video about uh, buongiorno, buonasera, ciao, hello, and so on. Um, so as soon as we get in in the restaurant, uh, the hostess is going to approach us and we're going to ask for a table. So we're going to say un tavolo. Per favore. You can say per due if you are two people, per uno if you are one person, or if you are more, we're going to learn numbers later, but you can say tre, quattro, cinque, and so on. So let's say you are just a couple, you say un tavolo per due, per favore. Posso avere il menù per favore? You decide that it's time to decide to get something to drink. Uh, in Italy, in the restaurant, water is not already at the table and they don't offer you water if you don't order. So let's say you want a sparkling water. You would ask, posso avere una bottiglia di acqua minerale? If it's a still water, posso avere una bottiglia di acqua naturale. If it's a tap water, posso avere un bicchiere d'acqua del rubinetto. We don't ask a bottle, uh, we just ask for a glass. Un bicchiere is a glass. And now, of course, is the best time. Order something to drink that is not water. Uh, so if you want to ask for a drink, uh, you have to ask, of course, for the name of the drink. Usually you have a list like in the United States, but let's say uh, posso avere un Aperol Spritz or posso avere un Negroni Classico, posso avere un Negroni Sbagliato. If you want to ask for wine, uh, you can ask for a glass or a bottle. So we already seen a glass that is un bicchiere. Posso avere un bicchiere di vino. So if it's red, Posso avere un bicchiere di vino rosso. If it's white, posso avere un bicchiere di vino bianco. If you like a rosé, the name is rosato. Posso avere un bicchiere di vino rosato or rosé is kind of the same. If when the server, in Italian il cameriere, will approach you for food, and you want to know some if there is a special, you can ask about lo speciale della casa, the special of the house. And if you don't know what you like, you can ask, uh, potete consigliarmi un piatto? That means, can you suggest me something? Time for dessert, we say il dolce. At this point, you finish your dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you ask for il conto, per favore, the check, please. Here, listed, there are some of the most important words to know and their pronunciation. Forchetta, fork. Coltello, knife. Cucchiaio, spoon. Bicchiere, glass. Piatto, uh, plate, tazzina, cup, small cup. Usually tazzina is for espresso. Tazza is more a cup or a mug, bigger version. Sale is salt. Pepper is pepe. Oil, olio, vinegar, aceto. And last but not least for sure, restroom is bagno or toilet. And there you have it, some basic Italian phrases to use when you're dining out in Italy. Um, practice these phrases, uh, watch this video several times, so, so it will help you to remember 
the sound of the words and will be easier to understand what Italian they say and will be easier for you to pronounce those words. I hope you had fun. Please consider to subscribe for more videos. Comment below if you have any request about any Italian word that you'd like to learn or any Italian situation that you would like to tackle better. And please share with your friends that you know that you're going to travel to Italy. Thank you. Grazie. Arrivederci. Ciao.